up everyone. Today we're gonna to do a quick unboxing of the new Vertex Overland bag. Um, this is a bag that I've been eyeing for for a while and something that I've been wanting, mainly for uh, as like a truck bag, as a get home bag, as a potential bug out bag. Um, you know, I was, I was looking at a bunch of different op options. I was looking at the Switchback. I was looking at uh, some bags from 511 Tactical. Ultimately, I decided on the Vertex mainly for a couple of reasons, which I'm gonna walk through right now. So just to do a quick unboxing uh, using my, my Kershaw knife, just pop this thing open. This is sort of my, my heater knife, so it's not as sharp as I would like it. I need to hit this with a grinder. Let's pop this thing open. And just do our first impressions. So it's a pretty good size. I got it in the black, mainly because I, was, I wasn't actually a fan of the colorways. Vertex, if you're listening to this, um, I think like that blue and blue and uh, leather that you have on some of your other models is probably a better colorway. I think like the, the colorways on the Overlander were kind of, kind of uninspiring to be honest. Another note on that was that I was trying to purchase this directly from Vertex. I didn't want to buy this directly from Amazon. I wanted to buy it from Vertex. And I wanted to use like the, the coupon codes that I get from like the last line of defense. I was trying to use the last line of defense's coupon code. But when I actually ran the numbers, it actually ended up coming out more expensive on the Vertex website than it did on Amazon. And I was just like, Vertex, what's going on here? You know, like to me, like I think like if, if I'm using a coupon code from someone that I wanted to support, you know, with Mike from, from last line of defense, um, it, it, you know, in my opinion, it should come out cheaper than if I'm buying from a third party website, but it actually ended up being more expensive. So let's take a look here. So first impressions of the Vertex Overlander. Let's take a look. It's a little bit, I guess it's a little, it looks like a little bit, um, I guess like what's the word that I'm looking for? Like maybe like a little bit faded. Like I was expecting like the black to be a little bit, a little bit brighter, to be honest. It's like. I don't know if you can, if I can pick it up on the camera, but it definitely looks a little bit on the faded side, which is fine. I think that's, that's probably like a function of the material. It's like more of like this like stretchy mesh material, whereas this is like more of that canvas view. Um, let's take a look here. I'm liking this hardware, it's like all metal. So let's kind of like unpack this a little bit and see what's going on here. So if I'm taking a look at the bag. So the reason that I picked up the Vertex Overlander was for a couple of reasons. Number one, I love the fact that it has so many different compartments. I love the fact that, um, you know, there's, it's, it's, it's purpose built and designed to carry firearms. Um, so like this, this little grab pouch is designed to sort of pop this open. And so you can see here, this is actually really cool. This zipper, this actually, the zip feels really, really smooth. I really like this. And this little grab handle, I mean, this is cool. Not gonna lie, this is cool, and it's got like a little bit of Velcro right here, so you could probably put some uh, some morale stickers there. This is I, I, this is this is already impressive to me. Um, I'm really liking this feature. So it lets you sort of sling the bag around, pop this open, and you you pull directly in from here. And here is Velcro lined, and so you can have your handgun, your firearm here. You could probably fit um, a AR pistol in here. I mean, this is this is pretty big, and so you can have you know potential mags, you could probably throw some tourniquets in here. I mean, this is really, really cool. And then on top of that, they've got the pass through here. So you can, you know, carry this if you're traveling, you can pass a carry on handle through here, which I think is super cool. I think the, the uh, waist straps, they're, they're sort of tucked in underneath here. So I can pull that out if I was gonna be, let's say using this for a get home bag. And I was like, for me, like traveling about, about 10 miles to get home from my farthest traveling point. Um, and I've done a bunch of 10 mile hikes in the past, so that wouldn't be an issue for me, but it definitely helps to be able to switch from having your chest harness, the, the weight being held on your chest harness to your um, waist harness. And so that's pretty cool. Um, this looks really, really sweet. So really liking this feature, that's, that's pretty sweet. Let's take a look at what else here. So the other features that I liked about this is that there, you know, you've got that sort of this back component being dedicated to your firearm. So you never really need to get in there, but then you've got enough access on the top end to be able to store your laptop. And so this is like, 
This is like the main compartment of the bag. And so you can see here, it's pretty cavernous. So you can put your laptop here. And so you can be, you know, using this bag as like an everyday, just, you know, just normal backpack. You know, you can store your stuff in here. Uh, I'm, I'm planning on using this for a little, like three day weekend trips. So I'll be heading camping this weekend. So I'll be, I'll be testing this bag out this weekend, storing three days worth of clothing, as well as like some other stuff. Um, I love these like stretchy water bottle pockets. So I'll be storing, I can probably store like a stainless steel Nalgene. Um, it also has these really cool side zipper pockets. Honestly, like I'm, I, I, I read the reviews on Amazon and they were like, oh, these zippers suck. I don't know what they're talking about. Maybe, they, maybe, are these YKK? They're not YKK, it doesn't look like they're YKK, but they're, they're smooth. They're not getting hung up. So I'm really, really appreciative of that. Cause to me, zippers are like one of the major failure points for a lot of bags. Like you can tell these are really solid. I'm loving this little mesh material in here. Um, it doesn't look like there's organizers inside here, but this is like really more than enough. You've got this. And um, what I also liked about this is that this can be a backup bladder. So if you want to store your water bladder here, instead of in the laptop compartment, because like, let's say you're actually using that for your laptop, you can store, you know, probably a one liter, two liter would probably be pushing it, but you can probably store one liter here and this flows all the way to the, to the top. So you can actually uh, feed your, your hydration all the way through. Um, and then if you know, if you wanted to, you could probably run comms there. Uh, I'm personally not that, that cool to be running comms, but if you wanted to, you could. Um, this, is, this is really, really cool. So then the other function here, this is, these are sort of like these like clip on, clip on uh, like uh, just straps here. So this, this front section, you can, you can see here it pops open and now you've got your tactical part of the bag hidden away. And so if you wanted to, you could hide this, but if you didn't, if you wanted to actually run this like, like an actual tactical, you can un, this is actually, would actually be a cool section to store um, documents as well. You could probably put this down there. It'd be difficult to, to access this. So you've got, I mean, this goes all the way up. So there's probably plenty of room up here. Uh, if you want to store, let's say flip flops uh, to keep it separate from the other bag, this would be another great place to store it. Um, I mean, this is really, really cool. I mean, I'm honestly, uh, I was a little bummed when I was like, oh, like this fabric looked like a little bit, um, a little bit faded, but now that I'm like really playing around with this and really, uh, this grab handle is just phenomenal. I mean, this is like a real, it's like almost like a rubberized, texturized. I mean, you could tell this bag is really well built. If you are looking for a awesome, just bug out bag, get home bag, three day weekend bag. I mean, to be honest, out of all of the backpacks that I own, this one is definitely like the winner here. Uh, I am, I'm super impressed. I'm very happy with it. Uh, have zero buyer's remorse now that I'm like really playing around with this thing. Uh, Vertex, you all did a great job. Let me tell you, you guys did a great job. Um, you know, just improve the colorways, uh, improve the pricing on your website. So that way I can give Mike from Last Line of Defense his credit. Uh, make sure you guys send him his commish if, he, if, you have, if, you're, if you're listening to this because this bag is definitely coming off of his reviews. So um, this is really, really cool. I'm really enjoying this bag here. Um, this is like a, an awesome dump pouch. The one thing that I did like from like the switchback and those like, uh, I never know how to say their name, Eberstock bags was the fact that they had organization for mags here. Um, I thought that was a really cool feature, but that's fine. I can probably just put like a mag organizer in here um, so that we can throw a couple AR magazines in here uh, if I take this thing to the range. But this is really, really cool. Also, I'm not a big fan of like these vertical, um, these like vertical pockets. Um, it just feels like they, you know, it would, it would fall out, but I guess I get it. You know, like to me, like I would prefer it if it was like more oriented, um, just in a horizontal fa fashion. Um, so to me, uh, I mean, this is cool. It's definitely cool. I just worry that it might fall out. Um, I also, now that, now that we've removed these clips, so these clips actually are designed to keep this main section from opening up all the way. But now that you've removed these clips, so if you basically pop this open, you can actually rip this bag open the whole way open. And so you can see just now you, now you have access to the entire bag. And so let me see if I can pop this open a little bit. So you can see like now you've got access to this entire bag. And so you can actually flat pack it. This is Velcro as well. And so you can actually store some more stuff here. You've got this also incredible zipper here. This is Velcro as well. So it's very modular. This is all movable. You can definitely move this stuff around. 
Um, I, I am I am very impressed, very happy. Um, highly recommend, I would highly recommend this bag. If you're looking, if this is a bag that you're looking for in terms of something that you can use um, for, you know, bug out bag, overland bag, truck bag, this is, this is it, this is the winner. You know, and to be honest, it's not even that big. Like you could definitely use this as an everyday bag. Um, this is not, not soup. It's not a super big backpack. I mean, if you didn't stuff it the whole way, let's actually put this all together. Let's put this back. Get this thing all going. It actually is, this is, this is the other reason that I liked it was like, if you could imagine, like every time I look at these like get home bags, they're super tactical. They've got this Molly just hanging off everywhere. And like, you could imagine if, yo, if shit hits the fan and you're the guy walking down the street with all this Molly hanging off, who, who do you think are gonna go after first? The guy that's got clearly, you know, all these weapons and stuff just hanging from his, his backpack. But if you, um, you know, this backpack, it just looks like a regular Jansport. You know, you literally cannot tell. It's got no, you know, uh, branding. It just looks like a regular black backpack. You know, you, you've hidden the tactical parts, like the Molly, and so this is hidden, and so, it is very gray man. This is a very gray man type bag. And so that's one of the main reasons that I liked it is like you can, if you needed to get home or if you needed to bug out, you could be wearing this backpack in the middle of broad daylight, in the middle of crowds. And you could be standing next to somebody and they would not know that you've got an AR pistol, six days of food, more water than you need, a bunch of water, like literally everything to be able to, to survive in this, you know, Jan Sport backpack. And so that's the reason that I picked this up. And as you can see, it's really not that big. This is not, it's really not that much bigger than a regular Jan Sport. You know, this is probably the only component that's a little bit bigger, but if you put this on your back, I mean, this is not bad at all. And so I love that it's expandable to be able to handle multiple days. You could probably get away with, to be honest, I've, I've traveled a week in bags smaller than this. So you could easily do up to a week in this, um, you know, it would be a great, just like if you were going to Europe bag. Um, to me, this is great. Highly recommend it. Really, really liking it. Um, if you wanted to, you could probably stuff like dirty clothes down here and let them air out. Um, you can zip them up here so they wouldn't fall out. So you could probably put some dirty socks there and just let them air out. Uh, I feel bad for anyone who's following you, but this is great. I mean, once again, let's go back to this part. This is the coolest part. Hey, you're ready to go. We haven't even talked about this section. Oh. Speaking of that section, we, we completely forgot one of the coolest feet. This is, this is why I love this bag. It's so feature rich. We haven't even talked about one of the coolest features that um, is not, uh, that hasn't, that is like, is not in any other bag. If you take a look here, this is Velcro. I mean, look at this, this is another hidden compartment. You could probably put an eye vent sleeve in there if you want to uh, have some more but if you take a look down here, this is actually designed for um, body armor. So you can make this into a body armor plate. Uh, actually, Premier, uh, I, I'm not familiar with their brand. I've never bought, purchased body armor from them. But Premier makes body armor specifically sized for this backpack. And so you can, every day you have this body armor on. And so if, if whatever you are in an active shooter situation, this can end up functioning as a shield and so now you've, you know, you've pulled out your AR pistol, you've pulled out your firearm, you're dealing with an active shooter situation, you've got body armor here to, to protect you and your family and your loved ones, get out of dodge or potentially fight back if you're in, in, in a position to do so. And so uh, now, you, now you are on an everyday basis, if you were to use this as an everyday bag, ready to go at all times. And so, I mean, talk about just absolutely phenomenal. I am. The more I'm playing around with this bag, the more happy I am. I'm actually can't, I can't wait to go camping this weekend with it and really put it through its paces. Uh, make sure you're subscribing. Uh, I'll be doing a follow-up video that's going to show you exactly what I'm gonna put in this for a three-day weekend. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put in this when I transfer this to being my truck, uh, truck bag, um, which, which will allow me to get home. Uh, and then I'll also show you what my setup will look like if this was a let's call it bug out bag slash I'm never coming home bag. Um, so that way you can end up, um, you can end up running it that way. And so make sure you're subscribing so you can see what those loadouts are. Uh, I'm really excited to get this thing going. So hope everyone enjoyed it. Cheers.